Let's do the pre-analysis before we get into answers. And the first thing we will do is we will take a look at the mathematical model that we need to input into answers, uh, and then we'll go on to consider the numerical solution strategy used by answers to solve that mathematical model. The mathematical model is a boundary value problem, and we are given the non-dimensional version of that boundary value problem, which I discussed before. We have to input a dimensional boundary value problem in ANSYS, um, and this has to correspond to the non-dimensional boundary value problem. And here's a dimensional boundary value problem we will input into ANSYS. And what I did was I worked out the corresponding inputs in ANSYS such that this problem would look exactly like that problem. First, let's take a look at the, um, the governing equation. This looks the same, uh, and I can set any value of k, and essentially those two uh, equations are the same. And this is energy conservation in, uh, in the absence of heat generation. This boundary is easy. I just set it to 1, just like over here. This boundary is easy. I just set insulated. So um, instead of d theta by dx, I'm setting dt dx. Similarly over here. Okay, so there is a correspondence between that boundary condition and that boundary condition. Now this boundary condition is a little bit more tricky. Um, so I will I will set k equal to one. So here I'll set k equal to one watts per meter per degree Celsius. Then the left hand side looks left hand side here looks like that and the right hand side I will set H equal to the BO number that I'm given and I'll set the temperature of the fluid to be zero degrees Celsius. When I do that this boundary condition looks exactly the same as as that and then the this dimensional boundary value problem looks exactly like the non-dimensional boundary value problem. And ANSYS will report the temperature in degrees Celsius, but I can interpret that as a non-dimensional temperature theta. Okay, so T and theta will be the same if we do that. So that's a trick to solve that uh, non-dimensional problem in ANSYS.